and welcome back. Today we take a look at how to get custom structures directly from Minecraft itself, since we often rely on, yeah, basically on our own built uh, custom assets that we had made over the past to create custom biomes placed on our maps. And today I want to show you how to get all of these custom structures that you could uh, modify and place in later on into the world. In order to get our uh, custom structures for our vanilla structures from Minecraft uh, itself, we have to go into our Minecraft folder, then into versions, then we look for our latest file that we used and then the jar that we would like to have. So I went ahead and make a, uh, made a custom folder and then uh, worked a version just to separate it for the future. And then just go ahead and copy it into the new folder. From here, we can go ahead and go ahead and unpack it. This is what you should go for. So just unpack it. So you can either use uh, 7-zip or WinRAW uh, to do this. And the goal is to basically get this wonderful folder here. This should be finished in a second. And there we go. We have to go into data, Minecraft. And then we have this wonderful folder that we would like to modify or maybe get the assets from. So in there is the Bastion, Entity, Fossils. These are the, uh, all the assets and custom structures that you can use for your vanilla world or for your wallpaper world. What you then can do is basically go to your saves go to the uh, folder you would like to place it in and then we can generate a new folder called generate it in this we can place a new folder called minecraft and this another one called structures and in this one we would just go ahead and copy everything over when we have done this we can go ahead into minecraft and basically import them uh, to your world with structure blocks with the correct linkage. For servers, it's basically the same, um, especially if you have a multiverse on it. Um, go to your main world or your, to your spawn world, basically. <laughs> um, go ahead, there is uh, again, you would uh, generate the generated uh, folder, Minecraft, structures, and then you have uh, all the files in here that you would either place uh, directly in here like uh, my custom witch hats that I did, or um, the folders that they would place them. Then on the server, what you can do is basically place the structure block together with the pile path, pile path. <laughs> and basically this is the folder, uh, underwater ruins, and then the, the custom structure name, and then we can go ahead and load it. This would uh, be placed then into your world, exactly with the other structures, like for example, the, the ship, and yeah. One more thing with the ship, uh, this is currently not supported with in the 2.8 version of uh, World Painter. This is not supported for some reason because um, my theory is that this is a custom structure that has the ability to modify its custom blocks more or less uh, to um, several versions. So I'm going to investigate this, how this works and I'm going to try to figure out how uh, I can replicate this maybe in the future. And the last thing that you would need to do uh, or basically to get the structure block is with the following command it would be slash gif, then your name or and then the structure block. This, okay. There you can see. <laughs> uh, sometimes I think in vanilla it's even Minecraft. Uh, double dot structure block. There we go. Yeah, then we can uh, modify data, save, load and then the name in here. But yeah, you get the idea. I wish everybody a wonderful day. And if you wish to, uh, to keep, uh, say, updated or say being updated with all my latest progress on my maps, um, yep, hit the like button and the subscribe. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.